Hey everyone, HermitGuy101 from Corbin's Geckos. Um, over here I have the Hovabator Incubator. Uh, this arrived a few days ago, okay? And uh, right now I'm setting it to the temperature that I want because I should be having eggs uh, from my female leopard geckos soon. Um, so I have that um, heating up to for females. Uh, okay, the cool thing about the Hava Bader here, it's actually made for poultry eggs, but it works really well for reptile eggs, too. Um, so, see, at the bottom here, it's kind of hard to see, but there should be a little hole there. Yep, you see that hole? And there's some holes all the way around it, and that takes in the, um, that takes in the, um, cool air from the bottom. And then there's this heat ring that goes all the way around here. And see that heat ring there? It warms up and uh, warms up the air and um, all that air comes up and comes out of these here um, okay so that's kind of the basics there with it um, I have this thermometer okay and then it also came with the thermometer in there okay and that'll actually place probably whenever the eggs come I'll place that right on top of this container um, which will actually be filled with hatchrite um, I bought the combo pack that came with it so I get a two pound bag of hatchrite. I get five deli cups just like that. Here's one that's already set up for incubation. Okay, I just need to put the hatchrite in along with the eggs. Uh, this is an old cricket container. Okay, whenever I bought my crickets from Petco, um, I just took the paper wrapper off. I cleaned it out really good um, and I put that tape on there. So that should be ready for that. Um, so here's the hover baiter. Okay, and then over here, for my female, where is she? I wonder where she is. Nope, not in there. And, oh, there's her tail sticking out down there. That's my other female, Sunshine. She's not pregnant right now. But she is, the one with the tail coming out. And I just made this, okay, this little lay box. Okay, I made a better lay box than what I had. Um, so there we go. That's the little hole that they can go into. And they should dig and, um... Put that there. There's my male that needs to grow a little bit more Oreo. Um, and what I put in the lay box was this jungle bedding. Okay, sorry, it's kind of wrapped up a little bit. Uh, but I bought this jungle bedding uh, the other day. It's the exact same thing I have in the hermit crab tank. Okay, but I bought that um, for the leopard gecko lay box. Um, and I kind of flatted it out so that way every day, like every morning and every evening, I'll come in and I'll check on it. And if the substrate there looks kind of messed up, then I'll know that they've been digging. If they've been digging a lot, then chances are that I might have eggs. So that'll be really cool. Um, so here's the Hava Bear again, and um, that's pretty much it. I'll let you guys know whenever I get eggs. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please check out my website at sites.google.com slash site slash Corbin's Geckos. See ya.